Welcome to Brighton Farms, the latest boardwalk acquisition. This is nestled right in the heart of beautiful Newnan, covered with lush foliage and trees, and we're very excited to share it with you. What do you like best about this acquisition? Coming from Texas, what I just love the fact is that there's so many trees. It's nestled really nice, it's nice and cozy. And on top of that, the approach is not right on the main road. I know that goes contrary to what a lot of people say, but when you come in, you don't feel like you're coming into an apartment. You feel like you're coming into a community. And when you come into a community, there is an aspect of a homely feeling, as opposed to, uh, hey, I'm coming to an apartment, it's yeah. in and out, and I'll leave in a few years. I agree, this is super quiet back here. Right. Very, very nice. What about the pond? The pond is just beautiful, right? Anytime you're near nature, anytime you're near um, it's something calming, it soothes you. And then on top of that, you know, think about it, you're having a tough day. You can just go to your private pond, hang out by that gazebo, and we're gonna put like a nice little fountain that has nice stuff coming up. Like the Bellagio, but on a budget. Um, and you can just relax. Balling on a budget. Balling on a budget. <laughs> So the thing that we're envisioning over here is to have string LED lights that basically illuminate this entire gorgeous area and really uplifts it up. So as you can see, we're gonna go all around these beautiful trees, put these string LED lights on top of that. We're gonna complement that by having two fountains in the middle of the lake, which A number one tell you, there's a lake, so it's very inviting. It brings you towards the lake. Then you have this beautiful, gorgeous landscaping with these LED lights. So net net, what you have is basically a very unique, very interesting amenity in the community that not a lot of people can ever add. They can never offer you this thing. And it's just one of those unique features that just uplifts it and makes it a better community. So let, let me show you an existing unit right now. This is partially renovated, and I'm using the term very liberally, partially. Look, as you can see the ceiling, it needs a lot of work done. There's lots of stains, lots of small little things. The light is very, very, very dated. Also yellow kind of gives you this weird cavernous sort of look. Now we've got, I think it's a reasonable fireplace. You just need to put some nice accents on it just to enhance it. Coming through, uh, what we see is the floor is actually very nice. Vinyl floor plank stain, I, I love this stain. It really brings out the room. But if you come in, there are small little details that I always like to emphasize to people. Even though this person did a job, you see how this thing doesn't line up properly? That basically tells you that this is kind of a half-assed job. And a lot of tenants, they actually see these kind of details. So if you come in, you change some of the doorknobs, you line these things up properly, you put some little accents in, definitely better lighting. Over here, as you can see, the lighting is not as nice over here. You do that, it really makes, makes it pop. It really makes it, you know, like that. The one feature that I do like, and I'm gonna go into the kitchen in a sec, is when you open, it just opens like this, right? So what we plan on doing right now, you can only do this obviously on select units. You come in, we go from around here, go all the way to here. And what we do is we kind of fence this in, call it a fence private yard. And you charge people anywhere between 50 to 75, maybe 80 bucks. What, what it does is once you fenced it in, it gives people a sense of like, well, that's my place and this is the common place. And when that's my place, that's an amenity, that's a feature of the property, that's a feature of their unit. And now we as sponsors of the deal, owners of the deal, can charge more money. So that gives you an idea of some other income possibilities that we haven't underwritten, but are possible on this property. The kitchen, you know, kitchen and bathrooms are always those two things that if you kind of nail the finishes there, you can kind of get a lot of bang for your buck. So when we see here, the boxes are old, but in very good condition, which is always nice because boxes cost a lot of money. But as you can see, they put like new front panels in and it's it might be hard to see it on the camera. There's a lot of yellow stains because they didn't do a good enough job there, right? So that's a big deal. This this counter, if you look, I mean, it looks okay. Maybe this was hard thing back in, I don't know, 10, 40 years ago, but it doesn't look good anymore. So you gotta come in, either you have to resurface or change it depending on the unit type. The other big thing is faucets. 
they need to be changed. Even though this looks good, for us to get that extra $100, $200 of rent, for us to compete in the market, we've got to come in and put some really nice faucets, add a really nice backsplash just to enhance the look and feel, and then either look towards either replacing some of these appliances on a needed basis, or to you know, touch them up to make them look very pretty. The other big thing, and this is a personal pet peeve of mine. I mean, what is this? This just looks and feels cheap. And when things look and feel cheap, your experience is downgraded, right? So we're gonna come in, put LED lights. They, first of all, they don't cost a lot, so that's a really good enhancement. They look great, so right off the top, you're getting value. And on top of that, on a maintenance basis, they don't consume a lot of power. So they don't cost a lot, they look really good, and they're not a lot to upgrade and run. So you win, 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 and your tenant feels like they're getting spectacular bang for the buck. The other thing over here that I do want to add, first of all, look at this. This is a huge pantry. And we also have washer and dryer connections right over there. So that's another value add. Well, from another income perspective, we can provide washer and dryers, which our tenants can then come use, pay us a certain amount of money for it, and all of that goes to our bottom line. Building communities, if we say we're building communities, we've got these fantastic locations with great families living, then what do communities have? Communities have kids, you know? If you've got such a nice place, which is nice, look, there's so, there's such nice work, such nice area. And then you have that sorry ass looking playground. I mean, that's gotta annoy you as a parent. I'm a parent now, that thing annoys me now. We're gonna come in and put some select really, really nice, high quality playground equipment. Look at this, these are trees. They literally border you from all angles. This is as perfect as you're probably really gonna get for an area for kids. And look at this, you're gonna put this in. That's just a crime. Look how much room you have. There's so much room. You can bring in some wood chips or mulch or whatever you bring in. Well, here. we're gonna do a lot more than that. There's gonna, gonna be lots the, of slides, monkey bars, you do the pads. swings. Yeah, we're gonna do it, we're gonna go all out. Because look, if you get these small little things in, nice nestled area, put some barbecue grills over here, put them over there. Look, look at that, you know? Come, let me show you this. Just look at this barbecue grill. I mean, my God, I wouldn't even feed my worst enemy off this barbecue grill. What, that thing's beautiful. One of the first things we're gonna try to do as quickly as possible is uproot these things out. These are a hygiene thing. I'm just not gonna have this in my community. So we're gonna put in nice barbecue grills here. Then you see those two sitting areas. Number one, we're gonna enhance them. We're gonna add a few more sitting areas so that families come in, they bring their kids in the community, they grill on not these, but nicer barbecue grills. And you know what happens? They love the community. They wanna stay here for longer, and the longer they stay, that does a couple of things. Number one, your resident retention ratio goes up. Number two, your turnover and repair and maintenance costs go down. That translates directly into your net operating income, which means you've got more cash in your pocket. Just because upfront you came in and you solve a big pressing problem that all parents have, but they might not vocalize. So when you have better quality seating areas, better amenities, families naturally want to come and at least try it once or twice. And one thing that what it shows when you put enhanced amenities in, it shows that you actually care about the complex, about how much fun the people that live here are going to have. Even if they don't use it, it shows that you really care about your place. And like we mentioned, resident retention ratio goes up, turnover costs go down, repairs and maintenance costs go down. A lot of times bad debt goes dramatically down because people want to stay in the community. All of this is extra cash that goes directly to your bottom line.